Hey honey, you spice up my life. We need ketchup. We only have, have plenty. We only have 32 bottles in our storage. Well, that tickles my funny bone. What a bunch of ring dings. <laughs> What you got there, girls? What you got? It's a whole crowd. I can't see. There it is. The big guy. I gave the big guy a turkey leg. Or I gave the girls a turkey leg. I love watching them interact. Make sure you guys share. What is this going on? I see. The peanut gallery. Is that good, guys? <laughs> Yeti? That's for the girls, not you. Why don't you let the girls at that there, bud? <laughs> and we got chicken shitting on the generator top. That's nice. Real nice. You got a big piece. We're headed off to a big bulk store called BJ's. It's a warehouse store, and we thought we'd take you along. So I did see they had coffee, a coffee coupon. Look at Santa. Gotta get some coffee. Maxwell House. Yeah. See, there's a $2 off coupon. Ooh, I didn't know they were doing that now. So take one of these? Yes, please. We need coffee, or I do. That's good. Clip your coupon in the app. 
it'll let me, I will. Anything over here we want? Pop tarts. Hey, honey, you spice up my life. Look at all those spices. Ketchup. We need ketchup. We only have, have plenty. We only have 32 bottles in our storage. Huh? What? We only have 32 bottles bottles in our storage. Oh, bump us up always. <laughs> Do we need sweet baby rays? What's this one? Yo mama dressing and marinade. Yo mama's. All right, your teeth out? Yeah. Well, that tickles my funny bone. Got a bunch of ring dings. Shoo, pricey. Pumpkin muffins. Those look yummy. Scott's eyeball in the soup. Progresso. <laughs> yummy. Okay, we don't that all yet. I don't know if we need to anymore. Oh, might as well. Get a cup of noodles. All kinds of cup of noodles as long as you like shrimp. No. You got some Vienna sausage? You want some of that? Uh, I don't, not right now. Dennis might. Well, that's true. He likes his Vienna. Corned beef. Chicken, tuna. Mac and cheese. Snacks. Section. Mac and cheese. Yeah, she likes her mac and cheese. Ah, nuts. Nuts aren't too bad priced, actually. Sometimes they can be pretty crazy. Don't tell the girls we're gonna buy some poultry. They don't have any meat missiles. Oh yeah, they do right there. Meat missiles. You want to get burger? Oh, we can get one of these. You want to get a missile or? hawk up in the tree. Scott thinks it's a goshawk. He is big. He's he is huge. You can't tell in this tree. Let me zoom out. I mean, here's the road. And there's the tree with him way up on top. Look at this guy. Holy smokes. He is big. He's not far from our house either. So he could have a good chicken dinner if he if he went just a little ways down the road. Which I'm not saying he should. I think he's good right here. This is actually a nice let me do this. This is a nice swampy area for him to be hunting on. It's nice and swampy and like a big field on the other side of this water area. So that's probably what he's looking at. He looks like he's watching the road right now. Or actually, he might be watching me. 
But you got to be careful because goshawks are very territorial and they will attack. So I didn't even get out of the truck to do this. I'm actually sitting in the truck because, yeah, they're not the nicest. I mean, I'm not saying hawks are anyway, but goshawks are really bad. They will attack if they feel threatened. But he is on patrol. He's looking all around. He is watching the road. It's a nice straight stretch beyond there. And I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that runs. You there? But yeah, he's big. Got to say for yourself. <laughs> Nothing. Winter storm rolling in tonight. It's supposed to get six to twelve inches somewhere there. And uh oh, this is a big bird. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, we got to get the my little cart filled so that I can fill up our wood box and Scott's gonna get the bucket on the tractor because we have one At least one tree that we need to get cut down the driveway. It's bending way over and uh, After a storm of heavy wet snow, it's just gonna end up in the driveway so preventative maintenance we're gonna cut it down and chop it up and throw it in the bucket and bring it up for burning maybe in our in our little uh smoker there not our smoker but our maple sap thing so we'll put some wood over there for that for next spring so but first i'm going to get this filled while i'm waiting for him to come out and then we will show you the tree we're cutting Well, as you can see, it's already started snowing. The tree we need to work on is right here. See, it's hanging over the driveway. Once we get a little snow, it's going to fall in the driveway and we're just trying to preventive, preventative maintenance. We're going to cut it down before it blocks our driveway and we have to do it with snow on the ground, which is never fun. So it's bent way over into the woods over here. It's right there, bending up way, it's reaching way out. So Scott's just gonna pop that off with his new chainsaw. And uh, I don't think there's anything else, but he may say, see some other stuff he wants to do, I don't know. He's coming down, he's grabbing his gloves and he's coming down with the tractor any minute now. We'll see that orange, that big orange boda coming down the hill. Quite a bend in it. Two. Nope. I lost already.
trees down. Yeah. We got enough wood for all winter right there, right? Yeah, if we didn't get that cut, we would have froze to death. Yeah. That's how it is. You see it on TV all the time. Yeah, that's enough to keep Maybe us. Maybe the afternoon. <laughs> I don't know if you can cook breakfast for that. Yeah. But it's not going to be in the driveway. That's all right, so trees down, not hanging over the driveway anymore. As you can see, the sawdust right here. We get all cleaned up. Scott's got it in the bucket. Now I'm going to take it up, put it by the sap stove. So I said we were going to do this by the smoker. I did not mean that. I meant the sap stove. We got it moved over here. So next spring, we'll be able to get up here and start boiling down sap from our maple trees. So we're going to take that. I think it's a maple tree that we cut down. Pretty good sized and we're gonna put it up here for next spring to use to to cook down our sap. So it would have ended up in the driveway anyway, so we kind of had to uh, get it out of the way. So we'll use the the wood to boil the maple sap. <laughs> 